guys know I love to travel, but I also do love to game. And the problem with that is that I have a huge setup that I have at home, which I can't just bring with me anywhere. But this is where this video comes in. I actually have a setup for you guys that you can bring anywhere. Matter of fact, in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys our setup on a train. That's gonna be incredible. And we're also gonna show it to you guys while we're in another city, just to show you guys how awesome this build is. So the majority of this build is gonna be from Elgato. So shout out to Elgato for actually hooking me up with a lot of the gears that's required. I actually wanted to pick these up for a while now, but they were nice enough to set me up with some of these gear. So let's go ahead and talk about the stuff we have. So first thing you're obviously gonna need is a laptop. Bring any laptop that you have on hand, but the one I have is a Lenovo laptop. It's the one that has a GPU as well as a CPU, so it has like the RTX 3050, perfect for traveling and streaming and editing on the go. All right, so let's talk about the Elgato gear you're gonna require. So first thing you're gonna need is a webcam. So we actually have the Facecam Premium Full HD. This is a wonderful camera, very easy to bring with you, very small, a lot easier to bring your DSLR, and it's got really good quality. Next up, you're gonna need a microphone. So we actually have the Wave 3. I know the box is a little bit big, but believe it or not, this is actually really easy to assemble and to bring with you. You got the microphone and the stand and it's very easy and very compact to bring with you. Then we're also gonna require a little bit of lighting because sometimes the lighting of your location is not gonna be great. And that's where this key light mini comes in clutch. This is actually a very small light that you can bring with you and you can plug it in to have constant battery, but you can also have it unplugged to bring it with you as a regular light. So that's really incredible. So those three are really the main essential, but the next few things are kind of quality of life kind of thing. So we also have here a Stream Deck Mini. This is very useful, especially if you're trying to edit or stream, because editing is really good because you can pop up whatever keys you want, but the streaming part is changing scenes. This is really incredible. And finally, the last thing that we got from Elgato is gonna be a green screen mouse pad. Not only do you really need a mouse pad, but the green screen will help it for any type of hand cam you're trying to do. So you have a kind of green screen hand cam. So that makes it really, really nice. So all that together, Together. we're gonna be bringing it with us so let's go ahead and head to the train station so we can film our little video there Alright, so just to show you guys the setup that we have here, we actually have the Wave 3 right here. And actually, I have like this little heavy stand, so you're actually pretty solid. We got a little mouse here. We got the little Stream Deck Mini, so if you want to switch scenes, we can. We also have our little webcam, and you can see, look, you can press buttons, you able to switch scenes. If we were playing games, we'd have that button there. Switch back. We also have the mouse pad, but this is like a different mouse pad. The one they gave is way too big to put here, so we don't have that. And we also got the light, but I, I kind of attached it to this Joby. Gorilla Pod, so if I needed to, but we don't need the light here. Um, but for now, we're just going to just showcase it off, showing that you can actually have this set up anywhere, literally anywhere. It doesn't take too much space. But once we get to Toronto, we'll actually have the entire stream set up. We are missing the capture card, which I have on the side down there. But once we get that capture card, we'll be able to record and stream. But I'm not going to record and stream on the train. I think that'd be kind of a little bit too much. But still, you can see we have the entire setup here. So pretty good. All right, so this is our gaming setup whenever we need to record on the go or stream. As you guys can see, we do have over here our webcam connected to our computer. And then we also have our HD 60S connected to the iPad. But again, you can use any device you want. Phone is also good. If you want to bring a console, you can. We do also have our microphone, some mouse and headset. And then we also have a green screen. The Elgato one is gonna be a lot bigger, but I couldn't bring it with me. I ran out of space because I had to go to another conference. We got our Stream Deck Mini and the light. The light can be plugged directly into a USB source so you don't have to worry about the battery. But ultimately this is a recording setup. So we might as well jump into our OBS real quick. So yeah, this is how it looks. The webcam looks pretty incredible in my opinion, especially since this out of the box did not change anything. You also have access to the Elgato kind of like hub or camera hub. You can change so much thing if you want. If you wanted to zoom in and out, you can. Not only that, you can adjust like the contrast. There's so much option, but look, you can zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out, right? There's so much options you can do. You can play with the contrast, you can play with all that. 
makes it very, very, very convenient. And uh, even right now, if you wanted to, you can even uh, adjust all the lighting if you want the shutter speed, but I put it in auto, don't wanna play too much of that right now. But you also have our gaming setup, you guys can see, we're just gonna show you guys. Right now we have our regular gaming setup with our Elgato. We kind of boosted the saturation right now, just gotta play around with that a little bit. But if I wanted to play, I can. We just go ahead and just play a little bit of gameplay there. But overall, it is pretty dang nice to be able to have this setup to go. And the quality on this camera is really nice. Typically, I would actually even have a cam link to put this camera on, but then we would have the webcam as our hand cam. That would make it absolutely incredible. So that was our to-go setup and shout out to Elgato for sending me all these stuff. I think it's amazing that I can travel anywhere, have this setup with me so I can record videos, gameplay, whatever I want. I'll still have that setup. And if I need be an emergency, I could probably even do this outside. Maybe I have shown on outside. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, very happy about that. But let me know what you guys think. If it's good, if it's not, would you guys do the same thing? Granted, um, you would have to have all this set up, but you know, you don't really necessarily need everything here. Just the webcam is amazing. And then having the microphone, those two things are incredible enough for you to actually just record. And they're pretty incredible. But let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.